To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline. Let's begin by positioning the time head where we want the shake effect to start. Use a slice tool to make a cut at the time head's position. Then move the time head to where you want the shake effect to end. Make another cut at the time head's position. Now let's head over to the effects panel. Type shake into the search box. Then drag the effect onto your cutout clip. Over in the controls panel, open up the shake effect you just added. In here, I'm going to increase the amount of shake and the speed of the shake. The other settings are less essential, but you can tinker around with things like the smoothness of the shake if you want. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking shake effect. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.